It's called the National Council for Reconciliation, and it builds upon calls to action 53 to 56. It will be an Indigenous-led body that will report on where the government and other organizations are in meeting the TRC's 94 calls to action. Crown Indigenous Relations Minister Mark Miller says the government needs such a body to assess where it is succeeding and failing on reconciliation. It's obvious that Canada should be in a position to, uh, of grading itself for assessing how it's doing. Uh, and this is a commission that uh, will have that independence uh, headed up by a, a group of well-accomplished Indigenous people um, with the opportunity of national Indigenous organizations to each uh, propose one member uh, and really hold, continue to hold Canada to account on a number of the truth and reconciliation calls. Miller says the council will help the government build trust with Indigenous people and organizations. This is a mechanism where uh, people can look to it and see it as impartial, led by Indigenous groups. Um, we stand in places that have a heavy colonial construct to them and I think Indigenous groups look with healthy skepticism and mistrust upon uh, places like this and so this institution is is not only a transparency and accountability mechanism but a, a, a trust building mechanism by people who aren't um, who aren't beholden to the, innings, the comings and goings of the Senate and the House of Commons. Miller says the government hopes to have Bill C-29 passed sometime this coming fall when the House of Commons resumes. Fraser Needham, AP10 National News, Ottawa.